I'm Joe. Uh, right, in this video today, turn that off, a bit noisy, um, we're checking out this dinky cab. So this is a Zilla 1x12 dinky standard model. Um, but this cab has got a couple of differences to our usual dinkies in that it's got an open back and also inside it is a Fane A60 speaker. Um, now Fane are a well-known um, British manufacturer speakers and they make some great speakers uh, we, we don't stock them but um, the customers obviously sent this one in uh, to be fitted in the cab and this is an Alnico speaker um, so yeah naturally I was, I was pretty keen to, to uh, check it out and see how it sounds um, and so far so good um, you heard me there at the start just playing the Strat um, plugged into a Marshall Vintage Modern uh, you can probably see my breath is freezing in here today. Um, and yeah, uh, just, just getting some sounds together. Uh, and I think that sounded really cool. So um, I'm just going to fiddle around with the, the pedal board, um, play through a bit more with the Strat. And yeah, we'll see what we get. We'll um, discover this together. Uh, I mic'd up with the Tull G12. Um, love this microphone. We'll, we'll talk about some more on that in the future, definitely. Um, yeah, so pretty simple setup, Strat into the pedal boards, Marshall, Vintage Modern um, into the cab. So let's try some clean stuff and see what we get. Summoned up a pretty uh, large clean sound there. Um, probably not something that you'd want to use in a full band mix, but sitting sitting playing on your own, that's something that I, I like to do a lot, is just create these sort of really big sounds to play with. And um, that speaker's handling it really well. Um, 
I don't yet know how that's coming across on the microphone, but in the room it's sounding sounding really big. Um, hearing really wide um, spectrum of the, of the sounds, all the all the bottom end, all the top end, de and the detail in, in in all those places as well coming through clearly. Um, and what's surprising me is how much low end I'm getting from this cab as well, because this is like one of the smallest cabs we do. It's called the Dinky, of course, and um, the. The general rule of thumb is the bigger the cab, the more access to lower to the low end you get. So this being a smaller sound, a smaller cab rather, you could uh, tend to expect it to have a little less access to that low end stuff. But um, yeah, I'm getting getting a lot from that one there. So um, there might be due in part to uh, the open back as well, with with that clean sound and the reverb there, just filling the room. Um, with an open back cab, you'll tend to lose a little bit of directionality and a little bit of focus in the low end but what you gain over that is um, just some of that room filling um, sort of sound and um, a little bit more dynamic content maybe as well um, yeah so that sounds cool let's try um, adding some gain to that and see what we get <laughs> and see what we get with that. That's just the game from the Marshall, and um, paired with the speaker, I think it's given a really great classic rock sound. Um, so yeah, let's hear a bit more of that. Is like a cool recorded uh, classic rock sound um, 
I mean, I haven't heard it yet, but what I mean by that is it sounds kind of like a recording to me. Um, what it doesn't have is, is, the, is the wide open sort of fullness that you get with a, with a 4 x 12 stack, obviously. Um, but that might, uh, might allow you to sit uh, more easily into a mix. Um, but I often find with smaller cabs that where they start to become a little bit more unstuck is when you increase the gain um, and get into high gain, high gain territory. So um, let's show an example of uh, what happens if we try doing that. So start here a little bit more fears from the amp here, a little bit more hum. But still, that, that can often give you a cool lead sound, having a little bit of mush and a little bit of sag um, can be quite flattering for, for lead playing, so um, let me attempt that. kind of low end and just allows the, the lead stuff to just bubble along a bit more I think. Um, so yeah, pretty cool for that. Um, but I'm guessing that this cab is going to be, well if it was for me I'd, I'd, I'd use it more with a sort of lower gain, um, maybe more of a strap kind of player. Um, yeah, so I think that's probably where I, I, would, I would see this cab as sounding its best. But as, as, as I say, you can, you can do other things with it there um, equally well. So I think I'll play this out with um, a bit less gain. Um, maybe maybe add a loop on and play with the top of that or something with the, with the Les Paul here. Um, so before I do that, it just remains to be said, um, if you're not subscribed already, please hit the subscribe button if you like this sort of stuff. Um, we've got loads more videos upcoming. Um, We've got a big speaker comparison project that's due to come out pretty soon. And um, yes, yeah, so there's lots more in store from us. So um, yeah, hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Hit the bell icon for notifications for when we bring those new videos out. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of, of this um, of this setup, of the way it sounded. Any experiences you've got with Fain speakers as well, I'd like to hear about that. Um, I, th I think I've tried, well I've tried this one today obviously, I'm pretty, pretty impressed with that. Um, I tried a couple of their ceramic speakers as well, but I'm not familiar with their whole sort of uh, catalogue of speakers, and I, I know people really love them as well. So, um, yeah, if you've got any experiences with Fanes, let me know about that below. And we'll catch you in another video very soon. Cheers. <laughs>